Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Valentine's Day. So as you know, today is February 14th, which means it's Valentine's Day. And I'm back to do another video where I'm going to try and find the perfect lipstick for Valentine's Day today. I'm sure a lot of you guys have um, hot dates tonight. So these are some of the lipsticks that I'm going to be trying out. Whilst you guys take in these lip colors, I thought I would tell you guys a little bit about the history of Valentine's Day. The Catholic Church recognizes at least three different saints named Valentine or Valentinius, all of whom were martyred. One legend contends that Valentine was a priest who served during the third century in Rome. I love anything to do with Rome, the Roman Empire, like it's like my thing, so. Uh, when Emperor Claudius II decided that single men made better soldiers than those with wives and families. So, Valentine, realizing the injustice of this decree, defied Claudius and continued to perform marriages for young lovers in secret. When Valentine's actions were discovered, Claudius ordered that he be put to death. So there you go, guys. That's the history of Valentine's Day. Um, I'm sure most of you have probably heard that story, but just in case you haven't, I'm here to give you the tea. So now we know the history of Valentine's Day, I think we should take a second to take in these beautiful lip colors that are all perfect for a date night tonight on Valentine's Day. What's your favorite, guys? Drop a comment and let me know. So, knowing a little bit of the history of Valentine's Day, how about we talk a little bit about the finance of Valentine's Day? Now, before anyone kills me, the statistics that I'm about to use are not Nigerian statistics. I don't think the Nigerian Brewery of the MBS, Nigerian Brewery of Statistics, have statistics for Nigerian spending habits during Valentine's Day. So I will be using figures from America, unfortunately. But the National Retail Federation does say that $18.2 billion are spent on Valentine's Day every year. 18.2 billion. So when you hear your boyfriend say, oh, I don't believe in Valentine's Day. It's just a money-making gimmick, blah, 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 blah. Well, it makes 18.2 billion. So the money aspect, <laughs> ka-ching. So for anybody watching this vlog wondering what to get for their girlfriend or their loved one for Valentine's Day, probably for next year, because if you're listening to this, then you're probably already too late. But the number one option most people will tend to go for is jewelry. One in five people will opt for going for jewelry for their loved one. And remember guys, it's the thought that counts. So make sure you buy something within your budget. Don't feel pressured. If the person is really special to you, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Or if you're really important and special to the person, should I say, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. It's the thought that counts. So after jewelry, the second best option for a gift for Valentine's Day would definitely be, I'm sure you can guess it, flowers. Over $2 billion are spent every Valentine's Day on flowers. And obviously the most conventional flower to send on Valentine's Day is red roses. But obviously it's down to preference. I mean, I don't mind whatever the flower is, I'll, I'll appreciate it, so. So one last suggestion for you guys today on what to get your loved one for Valentine's Day. It would obviously be chocolate or candy or cakes or cupcakes or anything sweet. Anything sweet that is good, send that to your loved one.
Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I'm going to move on to my hair now. So I decided to show you guys some of my products that I like to put in my hair. This is actually for when I'm using heat. I'm not using heat today, but I just decided to show it to you today. I'm constantly putting back moisture into my hair, so I'm always buying stray, uh, moisturizers that are in spray bottles and then I usually top the bottle up with water when this, the spray is like halfway through, just to really maximize the use. And I usually spend about 20 minutes <laughs> doing this every day, flicking my hair from left to right, trying to figure out what the hell I should do to it. Okay guys, so if you've stayed with me to the end of this video, I'd like to thank you. Please subscribe to my channel and please let me know what you think, what you would like more of. Yeah, I know, look at me with my sunglasses, so bougie. <laughs> thank you guys, subscribe, give us a thumbs up and let me know what you'd like to see more of. Thank you, bye.